Good morning. It is Wednesday, April the 3rd. I'm Alicia Smith. In the news, a search is on for the person responsible for setting a house on fire while people were sleeping inside. This happened on Edgevale near John R. in Detroit's Greenfield Park neighborhood. It happened around 5 this morning. Investigators tell our crews on the scene that somebody poured gasoline at several doors and then set the house on fire. Thankfully, everyone inside was able to make it out okay. Four more cases of the measles have been confirmed in Metro Detroit. This brings the total number of cases in Michigan to 34. That's the highest number of cases since 1991 when there were 65 confirmed cases. 33 of the cases are in Oakland County. The other one is in Wayne County. And you can find a list of the sites where people may have been exposed on WXYZ.com. Some sad news to pass along today. Roberta Hughes Wright, the wife of the late Dr. Charles H. Wright, has passed away. As you likely know, Charles H. Wright helped found Detroit's first African-American museum back in 1965, and the Wright Museum of African-American History is named after him. Roberta was a well-known attorney and author. The Women's Committee of the Wright Museum posted a picture on social media last night with the caption, Dr. Roberta Hughes Wright, Garden Party, Spiegel Mansion, 2014. It goes on to say, we love you and may you rest in paradise. Time for a look at your forecast with 7 First Alert Meteorologist, Kevin Jeans. Hi, Alicia. This afternoon, we're going to be nice and sunny, but it's going to be windy today. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour with a high temperature of 54 degrees. Tonight, a low of 36, increasing clouds overnight. And by the time the sun comes up tomorrow morning, could see some light rain showers. Off and on light showers through the afternoon tomorrow. I know it's opening day for the Tigers. The hope is we get enough breaks in the rain in the afternoon, but it's still going to be chilly. 43 for the high Thursday, 54 with morning rain. Then Friday, dry and sunny on Saturday with a high temperature this weekend in the mid 60s. Looking forward to that. Well, now to a big honor for the late Motown legend Marvin Gaye. We heard it through the grapevine, you might say, that his new stamp is on sale now. The post office issued a commemorative forever stamp as a tribute to Gaye on what would have been his 80th birthday. Don't forget you can get news anytime on WXYZ.com and our 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great Wednesday.